Hi there, Sandra here from Create in Spain. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your shortcuts lot files to be cut out as a print and cut with an X tool S1. Probably can do it with the other bigger machine as well. I haven't got it, so I don't know, but I'm guessing the setup in their uh, software is pretty much the same. So what I have here is an image which I'd already had in my stash, which I drew in Procreate, I seem to remember. And this is an image which has already been traced and it has a cut line around it. I'm not going into tracing it because there's no point. The idea is you can use whatever software you use to do your designing and put your cut lines in and then import it into XCS, which is the X tool software so that you can actually do a print and cut. So what I've got here is my design, my cut lines, and my uh, marks around it. Now these are not my normal registration marks. And the reason for this is because I wanted to know the precise dimensions. So I've drawn a box which was 17 by 12. And all I did was I used the eraser over here and when you click on the eraser, you want to keep closed paths unchecked. And then I just erased the bits that I didn't want. And I know I have a true rectangle. There's no danger of those angles being off. OK, so I then just put it around here and I'm able to remove this one. So what we're going to do, because the creative space, Xtool creative space, doesn't have a print function, doesn't have a direct print function. So what I'm going to do is to print it from my shortcut slot. So you could print it from your Silhouette Studio, wherever it is you're using. I'm using shortcut slot, so that's where I'm printing it from. And for that to make sense, you need to make sure that those marks are set to print and cut print, or else you're not going to get them printed. They'll end up being invisible, which really won't help you a great deal. So you send that to your printer and you get it printed off. And then you change them to cut lines. And then you can save that file as an SVG. So file, export it. I'm going to do drink SVG and save it to my desktop like so. And just do that. Now, what I can do now is close this down and go into the Xtool Creative Space and go to Image Drink SVG. You can see that we have our whole design with these marks around. Now, what we want to do is check that that is the correct size, and it's not. So I've got the um, the scaling locked there, so it'll all be worked out properly. If I double click on there and I wanted it to be 17, which is 170 millimeters, because this is in millimeters. So now I've got my image the correct size. My cut lines are already in place. So what I need to do is to put the material onto my laser cutter and to use these as the marking places. Okay, so I've removed my picture from there, just dragged it away, and I'm going to start doing some marking. So I will click on the start marking, click on the rectangle, and then I go to the machine and I put my laser mark over that corner and over that corner of the rectangle. So there I have my rectangle and end the marking and I'm done. And in this particular case, I've done it vertically. So I need to move this to a vertical position, move that 90 degrees. Yeah, there we go. And all of this needs to match up with those corners. If I've done it correctly, they will line up. They're pretty close and maybe slightly off. But that's about as close as I'm likely to get it. I could zoom in. Now, this is why I say that it would be quite nice if Creative Space could have precise coordinates. And indeed, if I could set 
the marked area to a specific size, it would be really, really good for this. Can't do it at the moment, maybe they'll introduce it, I don't know. So once that is done, I can actually set these bits here to ignore because I don't want them to cut. And when it comes to this, I can get that to cut, set my power settings however it is that I want it to go. And then I'm okay, I am set to go. Okay, so here is the image that I've got and my cutout. I had put an offset on it, but it's much easier to get the offset done in whatever software you're using before and you know exactly what you're trying to cut out rather than doing part in one piece of software and part in another. So I cut this out of this piece of paper and it's pretty well centered up there's not much of a problem now i would quite like to make it very accurate by being able to plug in coordinates but on the software i don't think you can do that yet you can possibly do it on lightburn i'm not sure i don't have lightburn as yet and i'm still asking questions about that but if you wanted to do a whole page of designs just make sure you've got your marks in a format that you have measured accurately because if you haven't measured your registration marks accurately your result isn't going to be accurate. Now you might say well you could just use the page size and in theory you could but it's easier to see the registration marks and where the laser crosses those than it is to get it like half in and half off of the paper. So the registration marks do make it a little bit easier. You could use, as I said, your normal registration marks, but you need to measure them very accurately and make a note of the measurement. It's easier to put a box of a known size around things than it is to measure something which is already there. So that's how it's done. I hope you can understand that and that it's of use to you. The reason I might want to do it is because I've got some very heavy duty card which does not cut well on my cutting machine but on my laser cutter it's not a problem and that makes cutting out smaller pieces from that heavier card so much easier. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, take care now.